Wait, do you want to watch the cereal? Let me, uh... You can do it. Where the where the you is. Is and this is our project. Clap o'clock. Hi, all. I'm Aiden. I'm Bradley. And I'm Patrick. And, and we're, we're the, the Beamers. And this... <laughs> and this is our project. Clap o'clock. Clap a Clock is a project that was inspired by three separate ideas. A clock, a clap activated light system, and a laser projector. We decided to bring all of these three into one product and develop this clap activated clock system which displays the time using a laser. This is made possible by connecting a clap activated circuit to a display system which consists of a laser beam which is directed at two galvos. Traditional galvos are made of two mirrors mounted onto two motors, one which controls the X direction and the other which controls the Y direction of the mirrors. And this gives us control over all 2D space, enabling us to generate 2D shapes and numbers. In our project, we decided to make the Galvos using woofer speakers. This decision was based on the speaker's ability to provide rapid and precise movement in the X, Y, and XY axes, which is crucial for projecting complex 2D shapes and numbers. We mounted the mirrors onto the two speakers in the X and the Y direction, as shown here. Our electric microphone is constantly sampling incoming frequencies. Whenever the sampled frequency exceeds a certain threshold, however, then it is processed as a clap. Ta-da! Our 300 plus lines of code allows our Arduino to use sound detection and recognition, simultaneous processing, and also a real-time clock. This enables our Arduino to listen for multiple claps at once, which allows it to transition from one mode to another, and also uses both analog and digital pins on the Arduino itself, such as here, to illuminate different LEDs based off of a display. For instance, this is through a digital channel, and the electric microphone is hooked up to an analog channel. As such, it is always getting a signal. So one clap turns on the circuit, which is illustrated by the blue light, and it also displays the time of the clap and the current time. Uh, furthermore, if we do mo another clap, it will then again display the time of the clap and the current time. Doing two claps in a row switches the mode. This would be our projector, which would display the time using the lasers. Another two claps gives us a stopwatch which shows how much time has elapsed since the start of the stopwatch. Another two claps. We activate the timer. This is a 10 second timer, and after it expires, the piezo buzzer will beep, signifying the end. And another two claps, and the circuit shuts itself off. After completing the clap activated circuit and the galvos, it was time to connect the two together. We connected the Arduino from the clap activated circuit to a separate Arduino which was responsible for controlling the vibration of the speakers. We then connected the separate Arduino through heat sinks and transistors to the X speaker and the Y speaker. Uh-oh, that's not the time. Clearly it wasn't working. And we wish we could bring you good news, but after days of debugging and ordering a completely different set of parts, it still was not showing the time. So we decided to pivot 
and default to using the serial monitor to actually display the outputs of the clap activated circuit. As engineers, we will fail sometimes, and we learn this the hard way. But it is important to make sure you put your best foot forward and provide your next best output. After all, resistance is futile. <laughs>